What's going on guys, Victor here, and this is a video I have been wanting to make for a long time. Number one, I want to show a sustainable way to catch sharks and a sustainable way to harvest shark fins. Now I know shark finning is a hot topic all around the world, but you guys please keep in mind that the way that we're harvesting these sharks fins is not what you have seen on TV. What you guys are probably accustomed to, and that's really controversial, is these big commercial boats and long line boats. They'll go out and cut fins off like this shark's tail fin. They'll cut off the peck fins, the dorsal fins. They'll let them go to die. I 100% agree that is immoral, that is wrong, that's just cruel, and it's a poor management of fisheries. What we did instead, we're in the state of Florida, for those of you guys who don't know, and sharks are very well managed here. We actually have an abundance of sharks, a really healthy population. Despite what the media will tell you, they like to compare shark stocks around the world to shark stocks in the US, which you cannot compare them. We have highly regulated shark species. Black tip sharks in Florida actually don't have a size limit. There's so many that any given day, as long as you have a saltwater license, you can go and harvest one per person per day, which we did. I'm about to fillet this entire shark. We have about 20 people coming over for a barbecue. And instead of just throwing the fins in the water, which I think would be wasteful, why not try to make shark fin soup and show the right way to do it? You know, I haven't seen a single educational good video on YouTube on how to make shark fin soup. If it's such a delicacy, I wanna try it for myself. I wanna show you guys and I wanna show the world the proper way to do it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video, so stay tuned. We are going to harvest the fins because I don't believe in just eating part of the animal. I wanna eat the whole animal and get the full experience. So I'm gonna cut the fins off as well. So here is one of the peck fins. Here's a second peck fin. Okay, the shark has a couple more fins. We got the two peck fins, the tail fin, you have your dorsal fin right here, which is basically every single Jaws movie you've ever seen in, in life is this fin right here. That's the one that sticks out of the water. So we're going to get rid of this fin as well. Anal fin. Now, I've never made shark fin soup before. So as this video posts, if you guys have a recipe, or know someone who has made shark fin soup before. I'm very curious to hear your guys' ideas. Please drop a comment below, email me, send me a DM on Instagram at Land Shark Outdoors. I really- All right guys, so let's get started. And I know I'm gonna be super repetitive in this video, but when I say I'm not condoning shark finning whatsoever in this video, and I'm gonna keep repeating this, I'm just showing you guys what I did when I harvested a shark. We already had the big family barbecue. We fed a ton of people. I gave a bunch of shark fillets away, and instead of throwing the fins in the canal for the fish to eat, I harvested them. I want to see what shark fin soup's all about. Now let's get started. This black tip yielded this one caudal fin. This is also the tail fin. You have two pectoral fins. So these are the fins that stick out the side. And pretty cool thing about black tips, as you guys see, they really do have black tips, hence the name. This is its dorsal fin. You're gonna have a pair of pelvic fins as well, which lie closer to the tail on the bottom side of the shark. And then this is a smaller second dorsal fin, which is on the top of the shark. We're going to put our fins into the boiling water. I always thought that shark fin soup was so popular for two reasons. I thought that people really liked the flavor of the shark fins, which turns out to be, from what everyone says, is they don't have much flavor at all. And secondly, I thought that the shark's fin was used to flavor the soup, which is not the case at all. I have a second pot of boiling water here, and we're gonna make a basic chicken stock, but I'm gonna add a little bit of pork to it, because as you guys see what's going on with the world, I went to three different grocery stores today, I could not find a whole chicken anywhere. So we got a ham hock, we got some chicken thighs. What we're doing is, we want to separate the cartilage and the meat inside of the shark fin from the skin itself. So I don't know how long it's gonna take. Could take up to an hour, could take several. I know traditionally shark fin soup is made from dried shark fins, but that is a process that takes weeks. I don't know how to do it. This is the way I'm gonna do it, and this is the way, only way I've really found online. He's shriveling up. Who is? That fin. Is it? So there's the lower portion of the caudal fin, the tail fin of the shark. Whoa. What? The skin is coming apart. Is it? That fast? Yeah. Wow. What's happening? That's what we want it to happen. We want the skin to separate. So then here we have 
This is the top half of the caudal fin of the shark. And from what I gather, and by the way, thank you guys, a ton of you DM'd me on Instagram, emailed me, sent me messages on Facebook and stuff. Kind of gave me like a guideline, a basis to work off of, of your family recipes or things you've heard. So I'm incorporating it all in. So I want to thank you guys for sending in those recipes. So we're going to let this go. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Like I said earlier, I really wanted to do a whole chicken to get a really rich chicken stock, but this is all I had. These are butcher box chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. And we're going to do all three because I'm making a ton. And the more chicken you put in, the richer your stock is going to be. Separate the chicken from the bone once it's able to separate and then boil that bone down because to get a really rich deep chicken stock You got to boil that bone for a long period of time. This is a smoked ham hock This is actually something my family uses a lot to make a lot of bean soups a lot of rich flavor So I'm gonna do one because I don't want it to be overwhelmingly Smoky and one thing I'll tell you I've learned about shark fin soup is there are so many recipes I found a lot of different ways to make it so many different practices But the main component everyone always uses is some type of chicken or pork bone type broth And then you add in the shark fin mushrooms, which we're gonna get to a little bit later So we're gonna let this guy go and catch you guys in a few This is what the fins look like after they've been simmering for about an hour two hours. I don't know how long to do it. But what we're after is these noodle-like filamenty things right here. These are the noodles that go into the soup. And I think they get a much more gelatinous consistency when they're dried and then they're rehydrated. It's so weird how the rest of the shark is so different from the fins. Yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do is separate the noodles from all of the cartilage and whatever this stuff is and all the meat. Get a nice clean bowl, rinse them off with cold water. So I'm gonna remove all of the fins from the water now. And then I'm just gonna let the noodles, as you'd call them, soak. Now this is what all the fins look like. It's very big difference. And nowhere did I see online that said to keep the, uh, the water of the shark fin as a broth. It's a very gray consistency, does not smell good. I don't see how you would want to eat it. Oh, this guy's full of them, look at them. They look like clear spaghetti noodles. You guys gotta take a look at this water. When I say gray, I mean it is gray and does not smell good. I know it doesn't look good right now, but I promise you it's gonna be very delicious because our actual stock of our soup is right there. And check it out. It's getting a real deep yellow gold color. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna strain it to make it look pretty, but it is smelling really good. So we're gonna fill this up with some cold water, cool it down, let it kind of settle, and then we're gonna pick it apart and get all the noodles out. This is all of the shark's skin. All those little scales turn into a very fine, powdery substance. It almost feels like sand. If you guys come here closely and listen, you can't hear it, but it, it's very gritty. It's like, it's like you boiled sandpaper almost, and I'm pretty sure that's all of their little scales coming off of the skin. And then you got a pot full of that. I boiled and I boiled and I boiled and simmered these shark fins for what, for a very long time. I'm not sure if it has to do with the fact that traditionally shark fin soup is made with dried shark fins. And this is not what they generally look like. They're much more gelatinous. Um, it's a very similar structure, but I think that when you dry them, they stay together. When you boil them, they kind of fall apart. It's really cool, it's very interesting. I would have never known that inside a shark's fin was all of this. It's like you got half fatty, half stringy looking noodles. This is what I got. The caudal fin, so the tail fin, you don't get a ton of this out of it. It was a lot of meat, it was a lot of waste. It was a lot of stuff that really smelled. So this is our product. Our chicken stock that we made pulled off all of the chicken into pieces like this. So we're gonna put this into our soup, into our shark fin soup. If you take a look over here, we have a very rich, deep yellow broth. And I did strain it through a sieve. So it's very uniform. You don't have anything floating around. I did skim a lot of the fat out of the broth as well. I'm excited because we got like eight people coming over and I really want to know what everybody thinks of those. I'm gonna put the chicken back into our chicken stock as well as, look at these beautiful shiitake mushrooms. We got a ton of shiitake mushrooms going in here. A lot of the recipes I looked up for shark fin soup, it was either like this, it was either really bland, just like a chicken pork stock with the shark fin, 
or it had a lot of mushroom component. Some people use uh, shiitake or a combination of shiitake and black fungus. Since we got more people coming over, I'm gonna whip up some beef and chicken lettuce wraps. So I have some ground beef browning right now in the wok. So I'm gonna take the ground beef out now that it's nice and browned up and I'm gonna discard the, uh, the grease. We got some onions browning up and then I minced a bunch of uh, like a pound of boneless chicken breast. We're gonna add some garlic as well as ginger. We're gonna put in the beef back into the chicken and onion. Now we add our hoisin. Some sesame oil, rice vinegar, spoonful of chili garlic sauce. Finish it off with some soy. I'm gonna drizzle it all around. We're gonna do some black pepper. So here's the finishing touch. This is five eggs. Scramble. We're gonna add them. We're gonna add them to our soup slowly. I'm stirring it as we go. Right. To finish off our beef lettuce wraps, we're gonna add two cans of water chestnut. And we're just gonna heat them through. We don't wanna overcook them. Some spring onion. Now we're gonna add some cold water mixed with cornstarch to thicken up our soup. Everybody's gonna get a little bit of shark fin. I didn't heat it through because I don't wanna have to deal with finding it in the, uh, in the pot. And it's gonna get plenty hot when I put this broth in. Final touch, well one of the final touches, I'm gonna do some fresh spring onion. And everybody's gonna get one little dash of sesame oil. Smells good. We got our lettuce wrap. And fill it up with some goodness. First in line. Thank you. Look at that. So everybody's got a bit of shark fin in their, in their bowl. You guys will definitely be able to tell what's what. So uh, anybody take a bite yet? Yeah. Eh? It's good. really good. It is really good. What does it taste like? I think the soup tastes really good with the mushrooms and all the things that are in it. But the shark fin itself, I'm not, I'm not quite so sure about it. Kind of, um, the, the pieces of shark fin are kind of weird if you ask me. The soup tastes good. They have such a weird texture to them. It's like they, eating a jellyfish. They feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They feel weird on your teeth. Like I'm, you're trying to chew them and they just feel weird on your teeth. Chewing I don't know how to describe it. Um, Does it taste weird? I think it's fine. Whoa, Gabby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and also it depends on your bowl. Some people got really, so the shark fin had really stringy like uh, noodle type stuff. And then it was also kind of like gelatinous gelatin in between the strands. So some people yeah, might have more of one or the other. Yeah, like this looks really scary. Show me. It's really good. I like it. It's um, just different. I like it. You like it? Yeah. I would order it for sure. Yeah? Oh yeah. I think I would too. Oh yeah. You would too. Oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it's different, but it's good. So. I don't know what the craze is though. So I'll tell you guys something. I have literally watched every single shark fin soup video on YouTube. Gordon Ramsay even went to uh, Taiwan and went to like a really famous restaurant. Everybody on this channel probably knows who Gordon Ramsay is. Gordon Ramsay even himself said that they don't have a taste. It's a very bland, it's supposed to take on the flavor of the soup. It's supposed to complement the flavors of the soup. It's not supposed to have a very rich flavor. I didn't even season the soup with the shark fin. The shark fin itself has nothing to do with the flavor of the soup. It's 7.30 now. Victor started making this at nine o'clock this morning. Yeah. He's been working all day long. I've all never seen lovely. him take so long to cook something. It just like 
was such a big process. Like all day long he was like just doing different things to it. So it took a very long time, but I'm actually really surprised and it's good. I don't think anyone here has ever had shark fin soup before, right? So like no, no one has anything to compare it to either. So like we don't know like <laughs> what it's supposed to taste like, you know? Okay, so now I will show you guys my bowl. The soup has a, a little bit of a thicker texture with the cornstarch. And let me try to get some shark fin for you. Okay, so that is what everybody's talking about. That's what it looks like in the soup. That is like something you've probably never seen before, never seen in a soup. So let's go ahead with the first bite. See, I don't think it tastes like anything. I've been snacking on it all day long. It has, the fin itself has no flavor, like whatsoever no flavor. It takes on the, um, the flavor of the soup. And like I was telling you guys earlier, I think it was more of a symbolic thing. And it became uh, a meal for royalty and then it got passed down from generation to generation. It wasn't so much for the flavor. And I think also people believed that it had medicinal benefits. So you guys can see how it could get spun out of control. And then also things that are hard to attain like shark fins, people think that something that's harder to attain is obviously gonna taste better or it has some kind of value to it. And I think that's a lot what goes into the shark fin itself. Well, some time ago I watched this awful documentary where a large commercial fishing vessel would bring three, 400 pound sharks on the deck and just slice off the fins and throw the whole shark back in the ocean. And I thought, oh, how wasteful. Last night, Victor um, cooked shark steaks on the grill and shark stir fry, and it was delicious. And I, I've always, you know, you always hear me comment on how good Victor cooks. I enjoy everything here. Today's soup tasted good, but the shark fin itself, I say they got it wrong. Throw the fins back in the ocean and eat the shark. The texture of that shark fin soup just didn't do it for me. That, that's, that's the first thing I ever had. I don't know. I could have done without it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I'm a big soup guy. Um, the shark fin texture was kind of like, it looked like you were eating man o' war jellyfish. And the I guess it's cartilage, mm -hmm. but it was very tasty with the broth of the soup. That actual piece of shark, the, car the cartilage itself, didn't have any flavor, but it was just the texture of it with the soup that complemented the whole meal. It was really good. Fisher sure has six bowls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Victor. <laughs> Victor makes a mean, uh, mean pot of soup, I'll well, say that. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a ton of fun making it for you guys. And hopefully you learned something. Hopefully, whether you were entertained or learned something, or just got to see what shark fin soup actually looked like the whole process. I know it's probably not the traditional, authentic Chinese way where they dry the shark fins and do that, but maybe one day I'll be able to make a video on that. Maybe one day I'll be able to try it. Um, and like I said, guys, I do not condone the practice of shark finning. The thing is horrible, is immoral, well, as a sportsman, as a conservationist, and just as someone who believes that fishery should be manage sustainably and what we did here there was no waste as you guys saw had a barbecue gave fillets away ate the shark fin i even have the jaws in the backyard being cleaned in an amp pile right now this just to have as a memory every single inch of that shark was used and any little remains that weren't were tossed into brooks canal and the catfish and all the other little fish are going to be able to eat it so um Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, go ahead, comment below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. There will be plenty more coming. And until that next one, see ya.